A married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. I used to be an avid reader. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I should get rid of all this stuff. since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Thank you. 
up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. Please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? 
That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The sender's label mentions... That's right. And you think... That is what... Go to... Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. I suppose you... Darkwater holds the... I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some info. I used to be an avid reader. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology.
almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. for you here either. Beat it. You think we don't know what you're doing? Hidden in the fog? I'll shut up your big mouth once and for all. Optimistic. Please move back. Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. What could have done so much damage? You can't understand. You're not sick. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. 
Now, please, allow me to do my job. You That's can't understand. No You're not sailors. Way. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You can't That's understand. No Don't put that in You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. That guy was looking for trouble. So choose your camp if you don't want the same treatment. Hey, buddy, I don't want any trouble. So serve me a drink. Just to make things clear, only regulars can run up and tab. Others pay. Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of Doc when our whalers left for long... It was a tough time. Ah, but... What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous then. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it. it what do you mean by that? Do you still trust that? Her style made her famous. How would you do Yeah. That? Well, it wasn't normal. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint? So they made you feel uncomfortable. You need to see them for I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me? We all knew she was in. I've got anything. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pit me. You want a drink? I see grounds for That'll be all for now.
Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. I saw the newspaper clipping. You don't believe it, do you? Watch what you say, young- That catch- Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger. It's true. Everything our grandparents taste. Dang it. What brought whaling to an end? The whales. They all did. You exhausted the stuff. You could say that, yes. There were few. Until the war. Hey. I bid you farewell. Good night. So long. I have the wind. What you looking at, stranger? The clientele is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing by it. I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. broken. This place seems half abandoned. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess the Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir.
I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. I've brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store. No I see that you're interested in the history. Indeed, maritime activities. I imagine that the Hawk... But you don't know with whom? No. It was not... I'm looking for Warehouse 3. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. Yep. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glory. Go read the story of its disp. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer. Ah, us men. Killer whales, don't That's true, but uh, give it a have you trench your top uh, The police you've got I think who's <laughs> to look at I was looking at your photograph. Ah interesting. I thought it would and for your father John is wood I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new.
We're no longer at home on our own island. Calm down. It's not worth the effort. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post? It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We return right after. It's just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. I told you to beat it. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You didn't tell me that the warehouse I was looking for was right in front of us. Because its owner is dead. And I don't want to see you hanging around it. Now please, leave us to our work. You can't- Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! What could have done so much damage? Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters! You're crazy! Damnation, I broke it. It's no use, the padlock won't give. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a... But everyone knows he's the patron saint of... Wa what happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all. What brings you to dark? The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. They really don't have They're more scared. If only they... Is it Cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. That statue represents your... What do you mean by low... You wouldn't be looking down at... St. Brendan, until those... A Peculiar house. Yeah. It's not be Isn't it a bit early for Al We got nothing. Fitzroy gets so I've taken enough. We'll see you.
Saint Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. I've no idea what it says. I've no idea. Out, I'll have serious pro How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. this guy? No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I... Don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two- Go die a third- I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else in your opinion? I've got to enter the Hawkins. No. I don't give a damn about your racket. And we don't give a damn. I bid you... If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? What's the difference between a police officer and a private detective? The badge? Exactly. Apart from that piece of metal, there's nothing that sets us apart. You think so? We're looking for the same thing, you and I. Okay, okay, spare me the next verse. I'll tell you what I know. There are sailors who think that there's a beast prowling around the docks. Then again, these guys panic at the thought of bringing a rabbit onto a boat, so... I see. And there are others who would like to use the wear- That's fine. You again? No need. I told you to beat it. Do you like a <laughs> We may not. That's true. 
I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship <laughs> They were made much richer. You shouldn't talk about- We're not speaking ill, we're just say- There! It's your proof. I bid you- Good night. So long. Bye. You again. What can I- What do you know about the Hawkins? If I were you- Why not? First off, sailors from around here- Scream. Scream. And that's not all. But I'll- Anything else? I read the article. Interesting look. Don't get it in. On that day, the crew of the Scylla caught in the biggest whale ever. They saved dock water. Charles Hawkins. Do you know if he had? I don't know the details. Money or not. He was the Hawkins family. You seem to know. Well, we all knew she was in. I've got any. That'll. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks about- No doubt a question of terror. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank- I shall take a whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. This handle will be perfect for the winch. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need.
something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. The cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. You're back again. What can I do? F Apparently the bootleggers don't want anyone hanging around the warehouses. They're part of the... And yet the place looks abandoned. Why guard the entrance? As a precaution, I suppose. All the warehouses are more or less interconnected by old sewers. You mean that there's a way to... I couldn't tell you if it's still the case. But I think I can imagine what you've got in mind. You can... You're back... What can... I shall be on... So come... You saw what happened. Don't hang around. I shall. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Ugh.
<coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <coughs> This is primitive. Ah, oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? What happened here? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? It smells as bad as it looks. These painkillers were prescribed three months ago. Someone has been taking them since the time of the Hawkins' death. Can't sleep. I know how that feels. settled in here and whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case is there anyone in there you don't move detective Pierce I told you to stay away from this warehouse it's clear that you knew the victims I'm sorry to dig up bad memories 
I can still see the poor child lying burned on the floor of their drawing room. We had to tear him off. The marks must still be there. They're in my mind anyway. It's horrendous. I'm going to need your experience to bring him justice, Officer Bradley. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car's parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? <laughs> He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know... Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? You won't get me to believe that it looked... It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably... It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins. Huh. <laughs> You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. 
You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't. Oh, he's a sad old. Gee. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see. I'll go with you. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. Recently fallen. It's as if all life has abandoned the place. Sturdy and well sharpened. Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You are trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. You're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you... That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin. Yeah, that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. 
okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Stop bothering me! This gate is locked. Poor wretch seems to spend the best part of his time isolated from the world. Rather Spartan, the caretaker has simple tastes. I know a thing or two about solitude myself. I'll have to find another entrance. Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas, we can pay. You're right. Pierce, shall we enter? Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Sarah Hawkins and Little Simon. The perfect picture of the middle class family.
What kind of meat is this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Dreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Silas managed to bring the fire under control, but it was already too late for the Hawkins. Was Charles Hawkins some kind of explorer? Charles and Sarah's wedding, as painted by Sarah herself. Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. They had a fight. Why did it stop at the time of the fire? If the painting I found on the docks really came from here, how come it didn't burn? Was Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? Did someone escape the fire? The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. Desperate attempt to flee. Huh. And the boy. So, detective, what do you make of it? Much of this evidence simply contradicts the investigation's findings. Really? Tell me about it. 
I can tell where young Simon was, but not his parents. Where were their bodies found? I can't help you on that one. Charles and Sarah's bodies had already been carried away when I got here. Without your authorization? By whom? Marshal, Andrews, Chief West. We never deal with cases like that, you know. So... Well... I was under the impression the fire started around midnight. Yes, at Silas banged on our door around 1 a.m. Poor devil ran so hard he was almost belching his lungs out. This clock burned before 10 p.m. That's impossible. What you imply? Silas never would have hurt the Hawkins family. Besides, Dr. Fuller confirmed the hour of death in his report. Your clock must have already... Dr. Fuller? A brilliant surgeon, and a friend of the family. So, excuse me. So be it. I found a bottle of whiskey. Empty. Well, that must have been a lost... No glass. I suspect one of them drank heavily. That's pretty thin. Who si It would seem at least one person fled... What'd you say? That mark on the door. Someone's hand slid down there. The left side has no mark. The door was open and that someone left. For God's sake. I mean, if it's Charles or Sarah, they wouldn't have left their son. They would rather die in the flames as a family instead of calling for help? I don't buy it. Oh, yeah? I suspect this lamp caused the fire. That's what the investigation suggested, too. But does your report mention the bloodstains? The lamp didn't fall, it was thrown at someone. For heaven's sakes, no. The report doesn't mention that. I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. This door is locked. that the Hawkins were among the wealthiest families on the island? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. These bandages are covered in dried blood, but whose? Lyrics of the drunken sailor, the sea shanty. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess.
This place was falling apart long before the fire. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Greek mythology. Hecate, goddess of the dead, daughter of Tartarus, and mother of Scylla. A book on hunting whales, the island's staple diet last century. One of Sarah Hawkins' paintings. Her style sure is recognizable. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. The crowbar could prove useful. Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police. room. What was going through that boy's mind? A child's fort. Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11-year-old boy. What was wrong with this family? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. The argument that led to their tragic end seems to have been simmering for some time. What will her room reveal about her? Perfect. Barbiturates. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment.
Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. I wonder why. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? Hmm. Looks like a revocation ritual. Was she trying to invoke something or banish it? Locked. Bradley? Is that you? Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. I'll cover you. This door was closed earlier. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. No, no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. It looks like an old seaway map. Clearly, Charles Hawkins knew Captain Fitzroy very well. I wonder who the man with the glasses is. It looks like a freehand map of dark water. Certain areas have been highlighted. I wonder. The Scylla. It's the boat that was stranded. This panel is movable. Cogwheels. They must be linked to an opening mechanism. Probably a secret passage. I must find a way to activate the opening mechanism. With this, I should be able to force the gears. As if the bookcase has been well moved done, several times. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. This Dr. Fuller, was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist?
Secret passage. Under the manor. It's like a detective novel. That guy must have already gotten far. Yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. Three seats. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? What is this mask supposed to represent? Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? This padlock is too complicated for me. Of course. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave... The passage continues further down. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll, if possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine.
Some kind of dream catcher. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. These paintings must be several centuries old. This monstrous creature must be an allegory. These people lying down. Are they dead? Are they asleep? These buildings seem to have come out of the water. Time has weakened these structures. I don't have time to search them all. What's going on here? Piers! Keep your voice down. We're not alone. Good God. What have you got me into? We'll see. I'll go on. Try to go down on your side. Yeah, th there's a passage. I'll meet you at the bottom. Grave. <laughs> oh God. I got I got it. It can't breathe. What's happening? No, damn it. I must find a way out of here. My turn. Yes, it is time. You will soon be one of us, if your body and mind are ready. I dream of it every night. I have constant visions. I am ready. Good enough. Prove it to us. It's like in my dream. seems to have been used recently. Probably some sort of ritual. I can't read Latin. Thank you.
Ya Cthulhu Nithsiha Fitag. Locked. Yibithink Padk Cthulhu Bithinkor. Grant him your mind and accept his, so that his mind and. I. I feel him. Shh. You are giving me more sacred flesh. Let him pass through it. Here! There's somebody here! You won't escape me! You are gifted indeed. Not another word. It looks like a kind of deep coma. Every part of you. What could this ritual have done to them? Oh, you who sleep. We pray for your return into the kingdom of the earth. We are ready for... Here! There's somebody here! Bring me more sacred. You flesh. are gifted indeed. Not another word. It looks like a kind Let of deep coma. Pass through every body. What could this ritual have done to them? The ceremony. Oh, what about your sleep. protege? We pray for your return His into the kingdom is. of the earth. He will join you shortly. Bradley, what are you doing here? I saw two odd looking guys coming down. Seemed up to no good. What in the world is this? An intruder! Oh shit! Don't move! Police! Don't move! I won't hesitate! Bradley, get to back! Shoot. Get back! You asked for it!
Light. At last. He's having a seizure. He will survive. Strong and such. <laughs> There, he's opening his eyes. You saved him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. Your dad, he killed you. Are you sure he's better? Oh, he was... he was dead. Me too, we... we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? No! Where am I? <coughs> this foul gas again. Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Mm-hmm. 
You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do. Look, I don't have time to... And the same goes for you, according to... I've brought you your clothes. Wait a minute. What's going on here? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment, for problems they didn't have. We must not stay. There are two... I shall tell you... Understand. What does this mean? Sarah. Am I in an asylum? What did he write about the painting? What did they inject him with? In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. Get out of here, I'll end up like him. Poor wretch. Dr. Coden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valve. Good God. What could this machine be used for? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Worse and worse. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation. I can still increase the load. It's an ammeter. 
I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Have I activated anything? It's done. Now for the others. We must not eat it. They must know that it is not good. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. No, 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 no. Not me, what not is six, well enough inside four, me? Five. I feel it in my head and in my body. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. I don't... What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange... I... You'll draw the guards. So, you in? F I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storm. Locked. Exactly what I need. A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. The green gas leaves from here, and it runs through the whole building. This valve controls the pressure. Now for the next step. Duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. This padlock is too complicated for me. He'll find me. He can see me. It's Let's locked. Calm down, please. No, no, no! 
fame is just information, dear Francis. Invaluable information for my research. Kill me! Kill me! What? <laughs> if you don't kill me, he will. My poor friend, I fear your mind is lost forever. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. Get me out! Catch me, I do not stop. Don't let me sleep in here. I do not see him. He does not call me. He calls me. What? Carnage. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. <laughs> 